guys, I am here with Natasha Baker from Team Great in Britain, Paradressage. How are you doing today? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm doing good. I think she's tired. <laughs> this, uh, your horse's name is what? Diva. Diva, of course. <laughs> Diva's a little tired. Oh my goodness. So how long have you guys been together? Uh, only since January this year. So it's a really, really new partnership. Even from the first ride um, on her, I knew that she was the perfect horse for me. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so, uh, so, so I knew that she was going to be the one that could potentially get me my next set of medals. And I lost my other horse uh, in February 2017, so it totally broke my heart. And it took me a long time to find another horse that could possibly come close to him. And she's so different, but I love her to pieces. <laughs> I know, she was definitely a little bit different in rocking yeah. out here. She's like, attention's on me here. <laughs> so what uh, about dressage like really sparked your interest? Why did you get into it and what has it done for you? Uh, well, when I was 10, I just loved seeing horses dance um, primarily. And I loved the fact that even though people, <laughs> hi down there, um, even though people with disabilities, you know, they could get on and achieve so much despite their um, disability. She's really craving the attention. You can see why she's called Diva, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, and, and then I think Diva. growing up, you know, being around the horses, I just love creating these kind of bonds with them and you know she knows me so so well she knows when I walk into the stables um, and yeah and I, I love just working with them every single day. Could you explain to me a little bit about the grades of the disabilities in paradressage? Yeah, so it's uh, grade one to grade five. So grade one is the most disabled, where most of the body is affected, down to grade five, which is the least able. So it might be a half amputee, so like missing half an arm <laughs> or, or half a leg. She wants to be interviewed too, I think. <laughs> um, missing half an arm or half a leg or like be partially sighted or have a, a slightly less um, impacted disability. So how are you expecting to kind of fare at least through this competition, or at least hoping? Um, well, I've had a really good year so far. So uh, I won two out of the three days of competition in Belgium earlier this year. Um, and then I won all three days at Hartbury International, which was our final selection. Um, so I'm feeling pretty hopeful for some good percentages. But obviously, it's still really, really early days. And I'm still getting to know her a little bit more. Um, I think we've got some really tough competition in my grade. I'm a grade three. Um, so I think there's going to be some really tough competition from Europe and from the US as well um, so yeah it's, it's gonna be really exciting to watch I think I'm very excited about it um, have you been able to see a little bit of the other disciplines going on throughout the show so far yeah, I was cheering Ross Cantor on earlier. She was amazing in the eventing. And obviously, um, Charlotte Dujardin in the dressage as well. Her horse comes from the same stud as Diva. So, uh, so yeah, I was giving Mount St. John Freestyle a, a big cheer. But, yeah, the guys, all the dressage team did so, so well um, out there. And, you know, they're a really young team with young horses. So it's really exciting to see what can happen in the future heading towards Tokyo. Well, I cannot wait to see what you guys do for us. Thanks so much for joining me. And thanks, Diva, for being entertaining in this interview. She aims to please. <laughs>